Ian, have you got a minute? Huh. For a fellow businessman. So, what's happened with uh, food standards? Were you hoping they'll just they go away? Close me down. Huh. So, I was just wondering if you had any jobs going. What, for you? Oh, no, I'm sorry, that should be a PR disaster, wouldn't it? I mean, me employing the Wolford Poisoner. I thought that you believed. Uh, are you. You were born only. Without the added protein. Is this why he suggested that I closed down? No, 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 no. I didn't suggest anything. Yeah, but you made this up. Is just typical Taylor, right? Blaming everyone but yourself. You need to learn to take responsibility, sunshine, OK? Although saying that, it's not your fault, is it, having been brought up in such unsanitary conditions? You are? I mean, Ian is a savage. On the plus side, though, you've learned how to scam every benefit going, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, slow down. Do you feel this is funny? That business was mine, it's his future. Future? What, you and Tiff? Oh, thinking of favour. You two ain't even going to last a couple of weeks. You have a definition of a snowflake generation, you bet. Even your mum thinks so. I mean, her idea of a long-term relationship's quick bunker. Oh, be all down. Be all down. Someone called the police. That was an unprovoked attack and you're all my witnesses. Yeah, I probably would have done the same. Oh. Said all that about my mum. Well, don't just stand there. Go and get the first aid box before I bleed out. 14, 14, 800 hours. Someone finally smacked Dean in the mouth.